So you want to start mobile photography and mobile filmmaking and you don't know where to begin. I'm going to help you with that right now. Hey there, my name is Paul and I'm here to share with you how to capture great moments on mobile. It's so nice to see you again, guys. And for those of you who are just finding this video on YouTube, stick around. You know, you might learn something or maybe not, maybe just entertain, I don't know. When I was starting this journey in mobile filmmaking, I didn't even know where to begin. Honestly, I didn't know what I was doing. And I always have this itch to buy new gear i need to buy that i need to buy this and i need to buy that and it literally burned my pockets out of cash but i have gear so to help you guys decide on which gear to buy i'm gonna share with you a list of all the gear that you've been needing if you want to go down the road of mobile filmmaking without burning your hard-earned money plus of course some free things that you need to invest in in order for you to step up a notch your mobile filmmaking the first thing that you need to have is, of course, a cell phone. Now, here's the good news. You don't need the latest cell phone or the most expensive one out there. As long as it shoots 1080 or if it's 4K, it's even better. I know some people who still uses an iPhone 7 and their footages are amazing than the guys who have an iPhone 11 Pro Max. Okay, here's a metaphor for you. It's not about the gun, it's about the shooter. Even if you give some soldier the most expensive rifle out there but if you can't shoot an enemy within 500 yards then what the hell is the point right a handheld ring again it doesn't have to be expensive look at this it doesn't look that expensive i mean as long as it serves its purpose which is stabilizing the footage you're good to go if you are just starting out and you don't have cash to spend for a gimbal, a decent handheld rig is the way to go. Keep in mind that a decent handheld rig like this must have a good grip. You can grip it like that. You must be able to hold your phone with comfort and ease. And of course, it must have a hot shoe or cold shoe mount and the screws at the sides and bottom to attach your monopods or tripods if you want to invest in those in the future. Do not, and I mean do not rely on those microphones in your cell phones. Whatever the phone manufacturers say that it has decent quality, don't rely on those because they suck, believe me. Some of the decent microphones out there that are good for your mobile filmmaking are the Boya BYMM1 and the Rode Video Micro. But with the Boya BYMM1, my problem with it was the cable. Anytime I move the phone, the cable moves as well, so you can hear some popping sound out of the microphones. So, it's really breezy right now. And uh, it just finished. So, I invested on this one, which is the Rode Videomic Me L. It doesn't have a cable and directly attaches to the charging port of my phone so I don't hear those popping sounds anymore. Now I still use the Boya BYMM1 but, but I only use that microphone now indoors. It's the one that I'm using here on my mini studio because I can attach a longer cable and then connect it to my audio recording device which is my iPad. And then I just have to sync it and post. Now what is the sense of shooting all those footages if you don't have an editing software to edit it with? So you need to start familiarizing yourself with some editing softwares out there. I can't stress this enough. Do not use unlicensed programs. Please do not use them. This is the one thing that you need to invest in. LumaFusion is a great option for you out there because it's one-time payment. And if you want to edit on a desktop, try using DaVinci Resolve for free. For a free version, it comes with tons and tons of features that you're gonna like. If you want to use Adobe Premiere Pro, I suggest you try looking at their student programs because all you need to do is just show them a certificate that you are a student and they'll be giving you a huge discount for you to be able to use their program. Now for the free stuff. 
Aside from gear, you also need to invest on skills. And these skills are free. All you have to do is to invest time. That's all. And one of the skills that you need to invest in is of course storytelling, which I will discuss in another video. But for now, you should keep in mind that storytelling is what separates you from other filmmakers. If you have a different approach on how to tell your story, that is what will make you a better filmmaker. Learning and mastering composition is also vital in improving your mobile videography or photography. Learning composition is what's gonna separate you from a beginner to a pro. For me, probably the most powerful composition technique that you can apply is leading lines. It's a composition technique where you find lines on your shot and lead that to your subject. But if you find leading lines difficult, you can start with a basic, which is the rule of thirds. The rule of thirds is basically dividing your frame into thirds from top to bottom and from left to right. And then you put your subject in one of the intersecting points. Also try to keep your horizon level in one of the horizontal lines. Your mobile filmmaking journey is not supposed to be expensive and it shouldn't be. That is what I learned the hard way. For a list of gears that I've mentioned, you can check the description box below on where you can buy them. So that's it for today's video. I hope you like it and please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Mobans on Mobile. Peace!